HTML plays a vital role in the web development area. You cannot develop any website without knowing the HTML. Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, we learned about basic tags of HTML. In this lecture, we are going to learn about HTML attributes, which is going to be so interesting. So let's see the agenda of this lecture first. First, we'll be seeing what is the meaning of the attribute. Then the rules you should follow when you apply the attributes. Then we'll be learning several attributes, which are href attribute, src attribute, alt attribute, style attribute, and in the end, a small assignment. So what are HTML attributes? HTML attributes are special words which provide additional information about the elements or attributes that are modifier of the HTML element. In simple words, each element or tag can have attributes, which defines the behavior of that element. We must follow a few steps while applying attributes. Attributes should always be applied with the start tags. The attribute should always be applied with its name and value pair. The attributes name and values are case sensitive and it is recommended by W3C that it should be written in lowercase only. We can add multiple attributes in one HTML element but need to give space between two attributes. Let's see some of the attributes in the HTML. href attribute the A tag defines a hyperlink. Basically, hyperlink redirects us to a different page. Here, the href attribute specifies the URL of the page. Firstly, create a new file and name it attributes.html. Now, let's take a look at the example. Let's save this file and run it. As we can see, the output on the screen. If we click on the given link, then we will be directed to google.com. Now let's see another example. SRC attribute. The image tag is used to insert or embed an image in an HTML page. And the SRC attribute specifies the path to the image to be displayed. The image will be in the directory. The example refers to an image that's located in the directory. The code would be as follows. Let's save this file and run this file. As we can see the image on the screen. Also, we can add width and height attributes to this image in the image tag itself. Now let's specify the values of these attributes. Width as 500 and height as 600. Again, save this file and run this file. We can see that the width and height of the image have changed. So this is how we can change the size of the image using width and height attributes within the image tag. Here we have one more attribute called the alt attribute. Alt attribute for the image tag specifies an alternate text for an image. Let's use this alt attribute in our example. So here in the alt text, we will give the text as boy on the mountain. Here you go. Let's save this example and run it. Great, I'm really enjoying this. You might be wondering why the alt attribute is not being displayed on the screen. Yes, the alt text will not be visible on the screen if the image for some reason cannot be displayed. This can be due to slow connection or an error in the SRC attribute or if the user uses a screen reader. This happens sometimes. We need not worry. It will be easy to rectify. So moving on to the next attribute that is style attribute. The style attribute is used to add styles to an element such as color, font, size, etc. It's also called inline CSS. We'll start with a color attribute to apply color to the text. 
Let's try this attribute with an example. Now let's save this file and run it. Yes, the text color has changed to green. Next, we'll apply font family and size to this text. Let's see this example. Here we go. Let's quickly save this file and then run it. We have changed the color to green and size to 200% and font family to Arial. This is how we apply a style to the text. Now we've learned various attributes in this lecture and with this we come to the end of it. I will see you soon. Stay tuned and keep learning.